Hello my dear friends and welcome to this PowerPoint tutorial where you will learn how you can create this wonderful PowerPoint animation and impress your audience. And as you can see this slide is all about summer but feel free to use this animation idea for anything that you like, maybe your country or your favorite travel destination. And what's special about this slide is that it has this beautiful video background, it has those looping as summer items and that wavy text at the top. So let me show you how you can create it as well, let's go! Ok my friends, let's jump into the magical world of PowerPoint and I'm jumping into Microsoft PowerPoint 365 and now let's check out all of those beautiful assets that we're going to use in today's tutorial. And as you can see I have a bunch of wonderful summer illustrations over here, we have sunglasses, we have some headphones, some lemons, some stickers, some luggage cars, Kindle reader, we have a cocktail glass, some sunscreen bottle and an umbrella, that's super duper awesome. And all of these wonderful summer illustrations were created by the super talented digital artist Raminta. Check out her Etsy store, link is in the video description. And what's awesome is that all of the illustrations come in PNG format with transparent background so you can easily use all of those illustrations in your presentations. And just take a look at the price, now it's the best time to grab these wonderful illustrations, once again link is in the video description. Ok my friends, let's get back to PowerPoint and let's start creating that beautiful video background. So let me just copy this video that I have downloaded from artless.io and let's paste it into this fresh blank new slide, that's beautiful. And now let's make sure that this video starts automatically once the slide loads and to make that happen all we have to do is make sure that the video is selected and let's just add a play animation to that video, ok? And let's make sure that this play animation starts with previous which basically means that this video will start playing automatically. And now in the playback options we can make sure that this video is looping until stopped. And now let's check it out on the full screen and as you can see the video has started playing automatically so that's super duper awesome. And this video is about 23 seconds long so let's just skip the video to the end. And as you can see the video is looping so everything is working according to the plan, that's super duper awesome. And by the way if you would like to hide that video player at the bottom you can go to slideshow and uncheck this checkbox show media controls. And now let's check it out, as you can see now video has no player controls, skadoosh. And now my friends let me give you one more tip related to this video, as you can see our mouse cursor has turned into this little hand which means that the video is currently clickable and each time I click the video gets reset and I don't want that to happen and let me show you how we can avoid that. So let's just go to insert shapes, let's choose the rectangle tool and let's just draw a rectangle that covers the whole slide. And now let's jump into the format shape options, we can remove the lines and for the solid fill let's leave that fill but let's make sure that the transparency is 100% and now on the selection pane you can rename this guy and now once we play the presentation as you can see this video is not clickable anymore, that's super duper awesome. Ok my friends you're making a wonderful progress and next let me show you how you can create this animated wavy summer wipes slide title. So let me just grab this text box from my previous slide, this beautiful font is called Sweet Purple, font size 115, so let's just copy this guy and let's paste it into our slide. And now let's just move it somewhere here into the center of the slide, just above the water, looking beautiful and now let's jump into the animation pane. Let's make sure that the text box is selected and now let's go to animations, let's click on add animation and let's go to more entrance animations and let's choose this beautiful animation called basic zoom, let's click ok to insert it. And skadoosh this basic zoom animation has been inserted, we can leave it to start on a click, animation duration half a second, but let's make sure that this animation happens by letter, ok, delay between letters 10%, click ok. And now let's give it a preview and as you can see all of the letters are zooming in one by one, that's super duper awesome. And now let's make sure that the text box is still selected and this time let's add a second animation which is text wave animation. Let's make sure that this animation starts with previous, animation duration, let's use 2 seconds for that. And now let's jump into the wave animation options and let's make sure that the text is animated by letter, delay 5%. Let's make sure that we get back to those animation options, let's go to the timing tab and let's make sure that the animation is repeated until the end of slide. That's easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Ok so as you can see the video play animation starts automatically and this text basic zoom animation starts on a click. And by the way you can adjust how high your text will be waving but let's leave it the way it is and now let's check it out on the full screen. So the video has started playing automatically, that's good and on a mouse click we can see those text animations, that's super duper awesome. Ok my friends and next let me show you how we can insert some of those beautiful summer illustrations and make them loop. So let me just jump to my previous slide and let's pick any illustration that we wish, for example this beautiful cocktail glass, let's cap it and let's paste it over here. 
and now let's just move it to the bottom left corner of the slide and now let's activate the slide guides so that we can see where is the center and middle of the slide and now let's select that glass and let's go to animations and let's add a motion path line animation to this glass okay and now let's just grab the ending point of this animation that red bubble and let's move it just above the center of the slide somewhere right here okay and actually would like this red bubble to be the starting point of our animation so for that reason let's make sure that we reverse this motion path and now the starting point of this animation is going to be where the slide center is and this is what we want and now let's make sure that this motion path line animation starts with previous animation duration 4 seconds and now let's jump into the animation options and let's give it a maximum smooth start just for fun okay and let's make sure that this animation is repeated until the end of slide as well okay my friends so let's check it out what we have created so far so the video has started playing automatically and on a mouse click we can see that glass animation and the text animation but as you can see this glass is super huge which means that we have to add one more animation to this glass and let's add a basic zoom entrance animation so let's go to more entrance animation and let's select this basic zoom animation and let's just make sure that this animation happens before the motion path animation let's make sure it starts with previous and for the animation duration let's use the same four seconds that we had for the motion path and let's make sure that this uh, basic zoom animation is repeated until the end of slide as well okay so let's check it out once again the video is playing and on a mouse click we can see the text animation and the glass animation and as you can see right now this glass is gradually increasing in size and this way it looks much better that's easy peasy lemon squeezy okay my friends let's keep on going let's pick a different illustration this time let's just copy this beautiful umbrella and let's paste it into our slide let's just move this guy to bottom right corner of the slide and now we can select this glass and use the animation painter to paste the same two animations to this umbrella as well let's just make sure that the starting position of the animation is the same as for the glass somewhere in the center of the slide and now for these two umbrella animations let's make sure that we had a delay of one second so that everything is not happening at the same time and we have a little bit of variety and by the way in the selection pane let's make sure that the cocktail illustration is above the umbrella illustration this way everything is going to look fine okay so let's give it a preview on the full screen and let's see what do we have so far all right so here comes the glass and after one second delay we can see that umbrella going to the right side that's beautiful and these two animations are just looping until the end of slide that's super duper awesome okay now let's just keep on adding those beautiful illustrations we have so many to choose from so this time let's cap this sunscreen bottle and let's just move it over here and rotate it a little bit and now we can just select this umbrella and use the animation painter to paste the same two animations and once again let's make sure that we adjust that uh, starting position of the motion path and now for these two sunscreen bottle animations let's add a delay of two seconds okay and in the selection pane let's make sure that the sunscreen illustration is just below the umbrella illustration and everything should be working just fine so first we can see the glass then the umbrella and then the sunscreen super duper awesome and now my friends i think we have just enough space for one more beautiful illustration that we could put over here on the right side so let's do just that and this time let's just cap this beautiful hat and let's paste it into our slide and now let's just move this hat illustration somewhere where the umbrella is and once again we can use the animation painter and paste the same animations from the umbrella to this hat and at the same time let's make sure that we set the correct animation starting point just like this and now let's jump to the animation pane let's select both of the hat animations and let's add a three second delay to both of them and this time in the selection pane we don't have to do anything let's just leave that hat illustration at the top and let's check out those animations okay so first we can see the glass then we can see the umbrella then the sunscreen and finally the hat and all of those animations and all of those illustrations are just looping until the end of time congratulations my friends for finishing this powerpoint tutorial now you know how you can create this wonderful animation as well and super thanks to Raminta once again for creating these beautiful hand-drawn illustrations and for allowing us to use them in today's tutorial once again check out her beautiful illustrations link is in the video description and as always thank you so much for watching stay happy stay healthy and i'll see you on my next video peace